The name Tate Taylor didn't really ring any bells for me at all. So when I looked him up I was kind of surprised because he's made some decent movies before this. Especially The Help was pretty good and The Girl on the Train wasn't bad either. But I didn't expect him to be the guy to make what is essentially a fairly low budget horror movie. And well I didn't really expect Octavia Spencer to star in one of those either. Because she's a really talented and well respected actor who usually does movies that are quite a bit different than this. However, not gonna lie, she was probably the main reason I actually watched this. Because had it been just some unknown actor playing her role, I would have most likely skipped this movie. But I thought maybe she saw something special in the script. Maybe there's more to this than I would have assumed from the promotional material. Well, having seen this now, is there more to it or is this just another low budget horror movie? I mean, I will say this, it did feel like it actually tried. It didn't feel lazy. So that automatically puts it ahead of the pack. But at the same time, I don't really think it ended up working as well as it should have. There were some issues with it and overall it just wasn't that impressive. But especially in the beginning it felt kinda choppy and rushed. Like they just cut out a bunch of scenes and left in only the ones that really had to be there. I don't feel like it took enough time to really establish the main characters properly. To really develop them and to let the audience get to know them. Which I guess brings me to the premise and the story here. It's essentially about this teenage girl who moves to this small town with her mom. And through a series of events this girl and her new friends get involved with this woman. Played by Octavia Spencer. But this being a horror movie things might not exactly be what they seem. And one thing leads to another and we go down this road of uh, increasingly creepy and weird events. But that's about as much as I'm willing to say about the plot. Because if I go into further detail there's not really much left to experience in this movie. I mean discovering what's actually going on and why is pretty much the best part of the movie. That being said they do drop enough clues to figure out what's going on along the way too. And when it all came together at the end I can't say I was exactly surprised. But it did throw a couple of minor surprises in there too, so that was nice. But yeah, I definitely did figure out most of what was going on fairly early on. And that's not because I'm super smart, it's because they made it pretty obvious. I mean this thing is also just sort of straightforward, there aren't a lot of twists and turns. So if you think you've figured out where it's heading, you probably have. That being said, I don't think I've seen this particular premise before. It didn't feel rehashed or like it's just ripping off something that's been done to death already. And I will say that Octavia Spencer did play her role very well. The movie also gives her a lot of room to sort of play around and show off a lot of range and nuance too. And at times I could even sympathize with her character a little bit. And her motivations for doing what she did did make some sense. I mean it's all a little bit over the top and silly but these movies kinda generally are. But at least the story did make some sense and it did feel somewhat coherent. It didn't really have many of those ridiculous moments where you just have to go with it. Even though it makes no sense and things just get absurd and out of hand. This one sorta of kept it together and yeah, the story worked I guess. It's not the worst thing I've seen and as I said I did feel like they tried. But at the same time it's definitely nothing special and I wouldn't say I liked it very much. However it was watchable and not without some redeeming qualities. But would I recommend it? Eh, not really, unless you just want to watch something mindless and sort of entertaining. Then I guess there are worse alternatives out there, but other than that you can probably skip it. Or don't, after all I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel because that would be fantastic. And if you like you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always I appreciate you and thanks for watching.